Simon. Now, so from the five elements, we go to the 12 animals. Okay? So you see here, the five elements, just now you, you, know, you learned the, the five, you know, the water, the fire, and so forth. From those elements come the 12 animals, okay? And in Chinese, these are the 12 animals. So why are we learning this? The mind-body exercise, okay? So meditation, how do you define meditation or meditative practice? A meditative practice whether you're doing this, or doing cloud hands, or doing whatever, it's a mind-body exercise where you focus on a single thought, okay? That's the definition. Of course, focus on something good, okay? Not something bad, okay? Something good, then you forget your worries, and you focus and focus on the single thought, and it gives you the benefit of forgetting your worries, but also making your mind able to sustain the attention. The typical person cannot think of a single thing more than 15 seconds, believe it or not. Your mind will start to wander. But when you practice, you practice Tai Chi and Qigong, you can focus on a single thought for many, many minutes, okay? And if you can so-called have sustained attention, you can do so much better in life, in studies, and so forth. In our laboratory, we wonder how can you, like, you know, get the due benefits of restfulness, but also sharpening your brain at the same time. So we make measurements of how much oxygen is burned in the brain when you're doing this and doing that, okay? So normally, your oxygen consumption rate is this high. When you start to do, like yun sao, cloud hands, or just sitting there, your oxygen consumption in the brain comes down. What does that mean? That means that when you focus on doing a single thing, your mind doesn't really get tired all that much. You're just like doing one thing. You don't burn as much energy, don't burn as much sugar and the oxygen and so forth. But if you think about this, multitasking is the worst thing, okay? Then you get tired, you do this and do it, and you're not doing anything particularly efficiently, but if you focus on one thing, okay, then uh, you don't get tired as much. And we show by like measurement of brain oxygen consumption rates during meditative practices. So here, as you try to do each animal, you totally think of yourself as that animal. Don't think about anything else. Don't think about lunch. Don't think about the stock market. Don't think about politics. Or your, your son not getting into college. Oh, you know, or SAT scores. No, just think that you are the tiger or the horse. Just think of that, okay? So think of that in what way? Oh, man is the, the king of the jungle. Right? Yes, okay. But each animal still has advantages that we could learn from. So you want to act like that animal and extract the best things out of that animal to enrich your own character, your own life. So not just like Oh, I'm a monkey, I'm a monkey, I'm a monkey. No, no. Monkeys, horses, dragons, they have things that we could learn, things that we could emulate. The word is emulate, okay? So instead of too abstract, 
We'll start with the horse. Okay, this is the most simple one. Horse. When you think of a horse, right? Horses of its strong with all these muscles, right? Healthy, huh? The same, healthy as a horse, right? Except the the race horses in California, they're flying like flies. So, okay, then, okay. Horses, they are quick. Well, many animals are quick, but they are powerful and high endurance. Wow, they can run all day, okay? Not many animals can run all day. Horse can. So that's something we could emulate. Not only do we need to be strong, we need to be strong long term. If anybody could be strong for five minutes, oh, how strong will you hurt my back? Okay, that's no good. Okay, you'll be strong all day. Okay, all week, all year, the rest of your life. Okay, hey, so horse, learn from the horse. Horses, bad things, okay, but there are things that we could think about. So you're the horse. Now, how, how do we do Qigong, okay? Most important thing is that we use our hands to act like that animal, okay? Because if you sit there, oh, I'm a horse, I'm a horse, right? That's, that's not good, okay? So the horse, you see, horse don't have fingers. We have fingers. Look at that, right? Poof. All right. So just make a fist. Ah, well, this is this is the hoof. Okay. No, don't do this. This. All right. The horse. I start with the horse because it's simple. Just now we're doing the arrow. Boom. Boom. Okay. Well, the horse doesn't run with one leg, two legs at the same time, right? Two legs and red legs. So, here are your legs. Not like this now, the arrow is like this, like this, okay? The horse is running like this, okay? So you go... You're the horse, okay? You're strong and you're strong all day, okay? So, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, and the other side, which is another leg, same thing, breathe in.
not particularly strong. The bear is not very fast, but very deliberate. Right? Very deliberate. And when it's going forward, like that. Okay. All right. So, bear claws. Okay. Like, just like that. Okay. So, it's almost like the horse. The horse is is it like this, like, like this. Okay, almost the same. Okay, a little bit more of this this action. Horse is just like straight. Like this is like oh, a bear. Okay, bear. So breathe in. Now, how is the bear different from the horse? The horse is not very smart. Horse is just like, okay, horse, go there. Oh, go, 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 go. let's go there. Mindlessly going there, okay? The bear is not doing this for any time. The bear is fighting, okay? Deliberate, okay? The actions are like the bear is fighting another bear or fighting a tiger. Okay? Whereas the horse is just like, oh, oh, oh. so this is like, and strong like a fire bear. Okay, breathe in. Now, don't, don't do this. This is more a tiger, okay? Just straight up. One last time, the bear. Strong, slow, but deliberate. Breathe in. Okay, the bear. Something to learn from them. Next, the tiger. Okay. The tiger is uh, obviously powerful, and like the bear, it could be quick. But the tiger belongs to the cat family. It has the side of character, like your household cat. It could be playful, okay? The powerful and pouncing at the prey. It's playing with a ball, okay, like your cat at home. So, what we learn from this is even when you're very powerful, okay, you're king of the jungle, kind of don't take yourself too seriously, okay. Sometimes be lighthearted, hey, have some fun, okay, don't be too serious. Have some fun, enjoy yourself, play with the ball, okay? You're not going to eat the ball, you already ate the rabbit, okay? Play with the ball, okay? So, hey, something to learn from that, okay? A tiger, don't go, bow, oh, ni bo hao, ni du bo hao, oh, you're a bad guy, I am, okay? No, okay? Don't beat up people, okay? Sometimes, hey, I'm taking you to lunch, hey, uh, let, let's uh, play tennis, okay? Okay? So, tiger, claws, okay. So, the tiger is smart. The bear is not that smart. Bear, rah, 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 rah. Tiger, okay. When the tiger fights with another tiger, you have to, like, if somebody's doing this, you have to walk before you pounce. You have to walk before you pounce. So go under, go walk, and pounce. Okay, the block is like earth, right? You mean, you know what I'm trying to do this? Block, see, go under the arm, under, 
Okay, so here you go walk before you pounce. You go walk and pounce. Okay, so it combines the earth, the pounce is the X, right? The X. Okay. Block, pounce, block, and pounce. So all of these movements are based on the five elements. So, okay. So, you go block on this side, and pounce on this side. Block on this side. Exercise. The benefits of this is you are exercising not just the forearms, but your wrists. You know, you do this all day, right? You get carpal tunnel and all this. Okay, so exercising the wrist and your fingers and the arm and the elbow and the legs. Okay, so it's a little bit more complicated and that will improve your proprioception. You know, the muscles have nerves going to the brain telling the body what you're doing, so it's more complicated, more complicated, okay, rather than just, that's too simple, right? Okay, so let's do this uh, two more times. A tiger. Walk. 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 Environment. 
So don't be like you know a perfectionist in life. The you know highs and lows. You go with the flow. Okay. Don't complain. The snake is just like silently moving along. It doesn't go like a dog. Okay. Like that. Like that. But the snake can jump at opportunities. Okay. The silent, 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 and then wow, it's a mouse. Okay, go for it. So in life, we have height. Quite but don't, don't don't make too much noise and beat your little pills. Just be calm, quiet. You know, go with the flow. But when you see opportunities, go for it. Okay, because if you go so so so, you miss opportunities. Opportunities come and go. You have to go grab it. Okay. So the snake, so, so, but wow, this food. Okay. All right. So here's the snake. Okay. It's the head of the snake, right? The body. Okay. See it. Head of the snake is uh, wider here. It's a cobra. Okay. So we do the earth, okay? But instead of the fist, 